other hand, we thought maybe I'd begin to understand. So to some, it seems a shame to go on.
you viperous brood, who warned you to escape from the coming retribution. Oh, then prove your repentance by the fruit it bears. And do not presume to say to yourself that Abraham is our father. For I tell you, God can make children for Abraham out of these rocks here. Oh, I baptize you with water. But he, he who comes after I is mightier than I am. I am not fit to wear his shoes. Oh, the axe is to the root of the trees. And any tree that fails to produce fruit shall be cut down and thrown into the fire. Oh, he who comes after I, he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Do you, do you come to me? Yeah, I, I want to get washed up. Oh, I'd rather be baptized by you. Come on now, let it be so for the present. We do well now to conform with all that God requires.
man who sets aside even the least of the laws of man, well, he will have the lowest place in the kingdom of heaven. But, he who keeps the law and teaches others so, well, he will have the highest place in the kingdom of heaven. So, unless you show yourselves to be far better men than the Pharisees and the doctors of the law, how the, how the, how the, <laughs> then you shall never enter the kingdom of heaven. <laughs>
You've been told, love your neighbor, hate your enemy. Well, what I tell you is this. Love, love, love your enemies. And pray for your persecutors. You don't mean. Oh, I do mean. But only so you can be called children of your heavenly Father, who makes the sun rise and set on both good and bad alike, and sends down the rain on both the honest and the dishonest. Now, if you greet only those who greet you, well, what reward can you expect? Surely the tax gatherers do as much. And if you love only those who love you, well, what's so extraordinary about that? I mean, even the heathen do as much. No. Your goodness must know no bounds, just like my Heavenly Father's goodness knows no limit. Well, I helped the homeless. I wrote the Greek clinic. I helped the elderly. I helped the children. I put in five hours of community service. <laughs> Prophets, they ain't gonna listen to nobody, even if somebody should rise from the dead. Capish? <laughs> <laughs> 
Surely life is more than food and the body more than clothes. Oh, her body's a lot more than clothes. Look, I'll show you. Yet Solomon in all his splendor was not a diet like one of these. So God clothes the grass, which is here one day and thrown into the fire the next. Won't he all the more clothe you? Well, what little faith you have. So don't go around anxiously saying, What am I to eat? What am I to drink? What are we? Don't have that! Is that your mind where? God. Yes, God's kingdom and his justice and all the rest are waiting for you. So don't worry about today. Today will take care of itself. Each day has problems of its own. <laughs>
clearly and have to take this back to sawdust out of your brother's eye. That is no answer to the question. Well, hey, did I promise you an answer to the question? <laughs>
with me. Now, now, do you know what that seed represents? A baby. <laughs> fell along the path? Well, it hears the word, but then the devil comes and carries it away in fear that it will believe and be saved. Aye. And that which fell upon the rock? Well, it hears the word of joy, but it has no roots. It's one kind of testing it deserts. <laughs> and that which fell among the weeds? Well, it hears the word all right, but it really grows in the air because it's very pleasures and other cares of the world. Boom! <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. They bring nothing to fruit. <laughs> Yo, fruit <Fugine>. today! <laughs> that which fell among the good soil? A good soil! Good soil! And through their perseverance, they yield a harvest.
turn on you and cut you to pieces. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. There once was a man who had two sons. And one day the younger son said to the father, Hey, Pop, I'm not my share of the property. So he divided his estate between them. Then, a couple days later, the younger son turned the whole of his share into cash and set off for a distant country. Yeah. <laughs> he squandered it all in reckless living. After he had spent it all, when a severe famine fell over the countryside, he began to feel a pinch. So he decided to attach himself to one of the local landowners, Man Pigs. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wait. 
and called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, what will you pay me to betray him to you? They paid him 30 pieces in silver. And from that moment, he watched for an opportunity to betray him. Peace. 
one of you among us will betray me. Can it be me, Lord? Is it me, Lord? Is it me, Lord? Can it be me, Lord? Do you mean me, Lord? Do you mean me, Lord? You have a body. Could you mean me? The words are yours. Do quickly what you have to do.
Could you not stay awake with me one hour? Or stay awake if he stands the test. Oh, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. I tell you this. Tonight, before the cock crows, you will each betray me three times. Thank <laughs> you. 